as well. Yeah. It, but we, a recap of the uh, open Shall academic. I, do that now and we'll, and we'll sign up, I, I think yeah. so. Okay. Yeah. Let me do that just to put this in uh, a bit of context. Under, under three minutes, please. Under three minutes, yeah. <laughs> okay. So, um, the earlier session that we ran, and there's a recording about this, really emphasised two things. Um, the first one was the philosophical point or claim that academia and public universities by definition are public and by that we mean that the processes and products of our academic activity and by that I mean teaching, research and our service um, because they're paid for by the public dollar by default really should be public material and publicly available unless there's a particular reason to restrict. All right, so we're talking about a shift here from a philosophy of closeness to openness, where by default the products of um, publicly funded academics should 
go along with this. So open academia, we're proposing consists of uh, five pillars. They are open access, so our teaching and our research and the products of our services are openly accessible to the public. Uh, open licensing, meaning that that material can be reused and remixed and used in other, other situations uh, once you access it. Open formats, we use electronic file formats that you can open up and edit using free software instead of needing proprietary software. So we'll try and use where it's possible and feasible free and open source software. And the management of the university is also open for public scrutiny. So things like minutes of, of uh, meetings and uh, management decisions are uh, as open as uh, are reasonably feasible uh, to, to scrutiny. So what we're talking about today then flows on from 